Welcome back. So today I have this awesome concept of a 16 destination minecart track selector. And it's even running off a of binary. Well, 4-bit binary that is. And basically how I'm doing this is I'm assigning a numerical value from 0 to 15 to each of these tracks. 0 is right here, and then it goes down to 7, and then 8 is right above it, and it goes to 15. So before I get too in-depth about how this works, let me demonstrate it a bit. So say you want to go to that orange block way down there. That's number 6. So we go over here and enter in 6 in the binary, which is 2 and 4. And then we just head over here and press the button. And as you see, the minecart will travel down through each of these intersections. And you notice that this one is turned right because of the power receiving it. And that's what causes the minecart to go down there. And then when it returns, it's already gone past us, but it will just travel through these on the way back. And now, say you want to go somewhere like the first one. All you would do is you just turn everything off because it's 0. And it's always set to 0 when nothing's on. So now, we just launch it again, and it will travel right to that black one. Now, you're probably thinking, how do we get up here? Well, there's a reason why I put 8 above 0, and 9 above 1, and 10 above 2. And that's because the most significant bit, when it's flipped, it will send, it will change that track right there, as you notice it's facing that way. When I flip it, it will change it so it's going up here now. And whenever you add 8, which is the most significant bit, to 0, it equals 8. If you add 8 to 1, it equals 9. And if you add 2 and 8 together, it equals 10. And this allows us to have much more compact wiring as we only need half as much wiring. And we actually only need 7 total programs as you don't need to wire these ones in as there's no change in the direction of the track for these. So you actually only have 7 programs that can be used in 2 different ways each. So now let's say we want to go to the very last one, which is 15. All you would do is hit all the you hit all the levers, which 8 is already lit, and then when you launch it off, it will just travel up here instead this time, and now it will go all the way down there, it will hit the last one, and it will return back on these rails, and then come back to your station. It's very simple. If people like, I can post a tutorial, it's actually not too hard to build. All of this can be hidden underground, so you'll only see the torches, basically, and I think it's a pretty awesome concept. It can easily be expanded for designs like up to like 256, which is just crazy. I figured no one would ever probably need more than a 16, even if they did, they could just upgrade to a 32, which would only be about twice as long. And yeah, that's really it for now, so I'd just like to thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.